Hi, so I've had the Canon G7X Mark II for a few weeks now. Now I did an initial unboxing video which should be appearing somewhere up here. I suggest you watch that if you just want to see the unboxing and what's inside the box. However, I suggest you stick around just to see what my first impressions are after having the camera for a few weeks. So really, I purchased this camera because the camera which I'm filming on, the Canon 5D Mark II, is very big and bulky and somewhat cumbersome and I wanted to be able to get away from that and to be able to get out with a small point and shoot and be able to get good quality video and good quality stills. I had considered purchasing this, ca purchasing this camera for quite some time now. I heard that the new one was coming out, the G7X Mark II, so waited until May until it arrived. I really wanted to go get away from the Canon 5D Mark II for going out on quick journeys. That's the camera I'm using to film this video now. But I wanted something a bit smaller, a bit more compact, but with great video quality. And I had watched a lot of videos. One of them might be appearing now, but don't click on it just yet. And that really was what made up my mind to go for this camera. As I turn it on here, we can see, I like everyone else has said in other reviews, I feel it is a very solid camera. The whole pop-up screen is just great. The whole selfie mode, the fact that you can then put it up a little bit higher so as you can get these shots, which I've used already. Um, I love this feature and it does feel very solid and doesn't feel like it's gonna break off in your hand, which is I know some of the point and shoots can feel like. I really like regarding the exterior build, these little buttons on the top, the fact that you can adjust the ISO automatically when you're working in different modes. I also love the pop-up flash. I think it's very solid too and it pops back down with ease. The whole, the whole functionality of the camera, the understanding of the instructions is quite intuitive, especially if you have any other camera in the Canon range. I found it quite easy to get to terms with and to get to grips with. So from that point of view, I, f I found it very, very good. Regarding the zoom feature on the top, I think it is also extremely good. You can do an awful lot with it. It, it really just moves so nicely back and forth. There is this little ring here where you can manually adjust it. It's quite good. There's a button here which can make it go from, from that clicking sound to a nice smooth feature. Someone had asked me in a, in a previous review if it just turned on and off in your pocket. I thought I did notice it once, but I have been trying to keep an eye on that recently and I haven't noticed it at all. The buttons are very solid, I guess in selfie mode or if you're doing some sort of vlogging. Uh, the, uh, the, because the buttons are quite flush, especially the recording button, which is the one that you'd want to be able to get your hands on, you can't really feel it when you just put your finger around like this. However, after about an hour of shooting, I more or less learned that it was in this position, so it really is easily solved that way. I know that you can set up the camera so that it, you can actually take a picture um, from touching the, the screen you can't start recording video that way. It would have been nice if you could have been able to do that. But again, they're just small little details. The autofocus is extremely fast. It's really fast in adjusting to low light situations. So in that sense, it's very, very good and well worth it. The image stabilization is also very good. I have a gimbal for the iPhone, which steadies it up slightly. But this I found was very, very steady. Even when I was shooting from a bike, I'm going to throw up a few images of that. The sound is also excellent, as you can hear from this clip. I did also notice that whenever I was talking and there was lots of background noise, it picked up an awful lot of both of that, as you can hear from this clip. The real solution here would have been an exterior jack for a microphone, for an external mic. That is one of the things that I really don't like about the camera. It would have been an excellent all-rounder as a vlogging camera if there had been some sort of external mic that could be plugged in because audio quality is absolutely essential when it comes to great vlogging. 
Regarding the time lapse feature, normally I use an iPhone 6 for very short time lapses. This has now become my camera for anything which is over a couple of minutes. Uh, this will shoot up to 900 photographs over a period of about 45 minutes and I think that they are really, really good. Here's an example of a couple of the ones that I've shot. There might be the possibility to extend that a little bit more. I'm not sure uh, if it can shoot for longer, but from what I can gather uh, from the basic settings, you can do 900 photographs over 45 minutes every three seconds, and I think it looks really good. Another one of the things that I really don't like is the fact that it kind of was sold to me on the basis that it had great Wi-Fi connectivity. Now it may have Wi-Fi connectivity to be able to remote control the use of the camera through your phone, that's fine. But I was more hoping for the whole idea of being able to download your images directly without too much faffing about with cables and taking out cards and putting them into computers. Some small compatible cameras do do this. This one doesn't. You have to go into the whole hoo-ha of downloading the Canon software, getting involved in their sort of cloud system, which I didn't like, didn't want to get involved in, and actually gave up them a couple of minutes into the whole process. So for now, I'm just taking out the external card, popping it into my computer, and working away like that. So I feel a bit disappointed with the whole Wi-Fi connectivity. Perhaps if somebody has a workaround or a better solution, please do let me know in the comments. But for me, I feel that was a bit of a letdown. I really think that it's a great all-rounder. I think vloggers will be happy in general, um, apart from the whole microphone thing, as I mentioned. Photographers will also be very happy because you can shoot in RAW. They don't have to carry their big DSLRs around necessarily if they're only on a short trip. I really love this camera, I highly recommend it. I think it's a great uh, camera for anyone who is already a Canon user. You don't have to learn too much to be able to get up and running and use it fairly well. So from that point of view, I think it's great. I certainly have enjoyed using it these, over these last few weeks. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please do let me know if you have any questions and I can help in any way, just let me know below. This has been Patrick, thank you.